I'm so excited to be recording this video for you today. I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine and what motivated me to even do this video was that for many, many years I struggled with not having balanced skin, not feeling like I had control over my skin, it always being super oily and just um, me not feeling like I look my best. So last year I decided to really go on a skincare journey and take time to find out what works for my skin, to do tons of research, to ask lots of people questions and ultimately try enough products so I'm with a wonderful routine now that I love and I can't wait to share with you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right in because um, there's a lot of products involved and I want to get through them all. Um, so the first thing I do is I cleanse, right? So I start with some cleansing towelettes to sort of wipe off the makeup of the day. So the ones that I like are by Nupor and I love these because they're only 99 cents at 99 cents only. And then they also sell um, some other ones by Newport at Bed Bath & Beyond or Harmon Face Values. So these are good, but any um, cleansing towelettes you can find are going to be great. So start with those. So once I wipe away all the gunk of the day, I go in with an oil-based cleanser. And this is part of my two-step cleansing routine. I start with an oil-based cleanser, which breaks down makeup and some of those surface layer impurities. It just breaks them down. So I just rub for about 20 seconds, splash with water. And then I go in with a traditional cleanser, which the one that I'm using now is Neutrogena Pore Refining Exfoliating Cleanser. And I really like this because anything that refines the pores we love, um, but I find this to be gentle enough and um, something I can use every day. I use it with a Clarisonic, which was recommended to me by my dermatologist. So I just put a little bit on, turn the Clarisonic on and you know use it all around my face. And I find that after I do this, my skin feels like a deeper level of clean, like clean that just hands alone can't do. Um, and you might be thinking Clarisonic looks intense, but it's actually not at all. And you can change the brush heads to what matches your skin. So it came with a sensitive brush head and I wanted to go even more sensitive than that. So I switched it to the Lux brush head and I really love it. Um, like I said, my skin loves it and, and my skin just looks more radiant and feels more clean um, using this combination. So now that I've cleansed, I move on to sort of the um, treatment phase of the skincare process. So I start with, um, and this is a really important part. This is the balancing part that got my oil under control. So pay close attention if you struggle with oil. I use something called a balancing toner. So the original one that I found, I actually don't have the bottle with me right now, so I'm gonna make sure that I put the link or insert a photo, but it's by the brand Polish Choice, and it is amazing, it's amazing. It really transformed my skin. Um, almost within like the first two or three nights of using it, I noticed an immediate dramatic reduction in oil production, and um, I use it both in the morning and at night to sort of just keep everything at bay and to keep my skin balanced because it's putting the right things into the skin as opposed to a toner that is just kind of like sucking out everything. You know, you need to be placing the right kind of moisture back into the skin so that it feels even keeled and at bay and doesn't have a desire to overproduce oil to make up for everything that's been sucked out of it. So something that says balancing is definitely one you're going to want to use. I also have this one which I've been using because I went on a skincare um, shopathon uh, when I went to Paris because they're so known for having affordable high quality skincare. So this one if you're in um, Europe um, you might want to try this one called Clenance Matte um, by the company Aven and this specifically is called the mattifying toner. So it, it's effective, I liked it, but I'd say this is good for somebody whose skin is like slightly oily, normal, or dry for balancing that type of skin. And then if your skin is like super oily, like mine, or um, anywhere else really, but especially if your skin is super oily, definitely go with the Polish Choice. That's the one that I'm going to continue to use because it is definitely a holy grail product and it has changed my skincare game. So mattifying toner, or the correct term is balancing toner, I would say. Look for something like that. And um, I also wanna interject, I forgot to mention this during the cleansing phase. Um, you wanna use a scrub slash mask. Um, this one happens to be two in one. Again, something I found in Paris by Aven, which I really like because I can just apply it, rub a little bit to exfoliate and then let it sit to suck out the um, whatever is inside of the pores that's gotta go. But I use this about twice a week. Prior to finding this, I used to actually exfoliate and then use a mask separately. 
um, and I have some that I like um, so I'll link those for you especially if you're in the States and you're looking for something local but I'm still on a quest to really figure out um, you know if there's like a holy grail um, mask and scrub combo but the ones that I really like I'll share with you and of course you can use this which is two in one which we love because it saves time okay so now jumping back into the treatments and at this point in the routine it's gonna be a little bit different day versus night so um, you've just put on your toner either way and at night I go in with this skin perfecting 2% BHA liquid um, and I'm going to do another video explaining a little bit more about BHA, AHA, glycolic acid, vitamin C, what are they, how do you use them, how many of them do you need. So look out for that if that's something you don't know very much about. But I can tell you from my experience, BHA is amazing. And what the bottle says it does, which it does do, is it creates radiant, even-toned skin, reduces redness and builds collagen, unclogs and diminishes in large pores. So this totally um, also changed the appearance of how my skin looks. It looks brighter. I find I have less um, clogged pores and I just love the effects of this. So I totally recommend this. And then I would follow that with retinol. So retinol has a similar effect. It's, it turns over the skin cells fast. It also helps to prevent aging. It's just a wonderful like product for anybody who's in that anti-aging point in their life and in their skincare routine so this one again is from paris the name of it i guess is a313 but you can also get retinol here um, in pretty high percentages just from stores or you can go to a doctor and get an even higher percentage of it so definitely add some retinol into your routine you will not regret it and both of these things retinol and bha i use them at night because they can make your skin more sensitive to the sun so bear bear in mind that in the morning the treatment that I use is vitamin C and I use that because it does help to combat some of the environmental stress from sun and free radicals so it's a perfect thing to use when you're going out in the day because it's you're literally treating your skin and protecting your skin at the same time it also brightens so um, the one I use is by The Ordinary and I love this company because it's super affordable I think this was like somewhere between six and ten dollars and it's lasted me forever and it's super effective so definitely check out vitamin c and the ordinary so that's the treat phase next you're going to move into the moisturizing phase and sort of um, seal in all of these things that you put onto your skin so my go-to moisturizer throughout most of the year is this the ordinary natural moisturizing factors plus ha the ha being hyaluronic acid which is a mouthful but um, I find that this moisturizes my skin pretty much any season of the year. I can just put on more if I need more moisture. But in the case that you are in a different climate and say you have a harsher winter, there are some other products that I would introduce when it gets super cold, which is, the first one is this Le Creme Concentré, it's in French, by Embryolis Laboratories, another find that I got in Paris. And it translates into milk cream concentrate, so it's thick like a milk. Um, it's really really moisturizing it says you could use it as a moisturizer a makeup primer or a moisturizing mask so um, I would only use it if I have like dry patches because again I'm in California and I don't really need intense moisture but I think it'll be great if you live somewhere where you have really harsh winters and then um, another one that I love I actually got this idea from my mom from sampling her stuff is a simple simple affordable eucerin cream that you can find at any drugstore and I'll put the link um, below so you can see the exact one I'm talking about, but I always use hers when I go to New York to get a little, little bit more moisture than um, you know my ordinary one would provide me. Now another thing that I'm gonna try in the summer um, is this Embryolise Laboratories Emulsion Hydra Mat. And this says it's for, it translates into for normal and combination skin. So um, when I have applied this, I find it so light it doesn't leave any kind of residue or cause you to produce more oil. Um, so it's definitely something that this spring I might switch up if I want to just take a break from this or this summer when I want to look more matte um, and not sweaty, I'm going to be using this one. So those are some, like I said, um, four different moisturizing alternatives that I might incorporate into my routine. Depending on the climate, the time of year, um, those are things you have to factor in as you're making these choices. So definitely think about that. Now for the last phase of 
the skincare process. Um, this is what I would call like the finishing touches. And um, what do you think is the most important, I venture to say really the most important part of a skincare routine? Sunscreen. And um, a lot of people don't think sunscreen is important, but I'm telling you, it actually protects you obviously from cancer, but it also affects um, keeping you, keeping wrinkles away. So you definitely want that. This one is SPF 50 and I love this one because I used to not like putting on sunscreen because of the smell and kind of the gunky texture. And this one is called Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence and that's exactly how it feels, like a watery essence. It's really lightweight. If you were to put it on with nothing else, you would kind of just feel like your skin. You don't feel like you have anything on. So it's great, it's great for layering and it's great for going ahead and putting your makeup on afterwards. I just love it, I love it, I love it. I wear it every single day, but a little bit does go a long way. So I definitely recommend this, which you can find on Amazon or I sometimes get it from this other website called Yes Style. So those links will be below. Um, now let's say it's evening time and you kind of, like I said, might be in a drier scenario. You could try some face oil, which I love this one particularly from Trader Joe's, the Rose Facial Oil. It really seals in all of the preliminary steps that you've put and then I find the next morning that I wake up with my skin just looking, I don't even know how to describe it, your skin just looks like every pore is sealed. It just looks amazing. So um, whenever I need a little extra moisture, I need that extra sealing touch, I use this particular rose facial oil. And Trader Joe's has this seasonally, so you might have to call yours to see when they're gonna have it in stock. Because I noticed around certain holidays, like gift giving holidays, they have more of them than not. One other thing that I do sometimes use is Vaseline, which I know some people would think like, why are you putting Vaseline on your face? But my skin responds really well to it, and I particularly like to put it on my eyelashes because it's like a conditioner. So you lose less eyelashes and they just look shiny and uh, ready to rock and roll the next morning. So I put it on my eyelashes, I put it on my lips and any other areas that might be dry, my skin really responds well to it. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you guys. I hope that this was helpful. Uh, next, I'm gonna cut into a little tutorial to show you how much product I use and again, reinforce the order that I apply them in. So go ahead and uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this really helped you to feel empowered to take control of your skincare routine and to just be the beautiful, radiant people that you are. Let me know if you have any other ideas or products that you think I should try or if there are any other videos that you wanna see. And if you enjoyed this one, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.